Okay, so wow, a lot has happened in the last three and a half months since I posted my last video saying that I bought a van. I am parked in a car park currently because I live in a van now and that's where vans live. Um, so we're going to hear a fair bit of traffic noise. I will go to a quieter location for my next video, but today we're just going to deal with what we got because check out that view. <laughs> So as you can see, um, the background behind me is totally different. My dad and I converted this van. So there was a basic build in here before. I gave you um, a tour of the previous build that was in here. We gutted it completely and created this gem. Um, I will, I, I did try originally to try and um, record the build process, but it was, it made complicated jobs even more complicated so um, I think I lasted about a week of getting footage and then I gave up instead uh, my Instagram stories over on this rambling rover um, I've actually put in the highlights there um, the whole build series and um, it's pretty pretty rewarding to go back and and watch it <laughs> if I'm honest um, but yeah so you can check it out there on Instagram and going forward I guess I'm just gonna give you the tour and um, yeah let me know what you think I have officially moved in by the way so all of my belongings um, are now in here and I'm currently on the road um, breaking it in with a little south coast trip so yeah I'll give you the tour My favorite features of this build is actually um, this desk here that I built in so what I've done is it's actually a pull-out um, hidden drawer that sits in the top drawer so that's my top kitchen drawer there and I'm just sitting on my bed here and it's like this epic little workspace in my van then my fridge this is the 50 litre brass monkey um, and it can be um, halved as well so one half is on one half is um, actually off but it's pretty cold in here so I just leave like drinks in here um, and it actually has the option you can make one half a freezer and one half a fridge or the full thing either just fridge or just freezer so with so much so many options I decided it was going to be the right fridge for me and it's basically what I chose um, these drawers off to try and make sure that my fridge would fit in the bottom which it eventually did a few people have asked me if I can stand in here and yeah I can my head is like just touching the ceiling but I'm standing which is epic um, okay so up here um, I have actually put all of my regularly accessed things. So I've got tea and coffee, um, hand sanitizer, because I'm actually traveling around and it's COVID at the moment. Um, and then, you know, my kit cups, sun cream, toiletries, tissues, things like that, that are easily accessible. I keep half my clothes up here. So this is just overhead storage um, and all of my shirts. Um, and swimmers and things like that are at the top and then I've got bulky things like pants and jumpers stored in little cubes down under my bed and then this end up here is all of linen it's like towels and um, water bottles and hot water bottles and things like that so yeah and then down the side here um, is just like office things I've got notebooks in there um, I've got sort of everything that would normally be in your desk drawers or your bedside table drawers, they live down this side here. So in under here is my water storage. I actually have running water. There's a water pump in there as well. It's loud, um, but I just have 20 liters of fresh water and then 20 liters of gray water um, as well. So that way it comes out of one and then pumps back down into the other. And then this is kind of just your typical under your kitchen sink stuff. It's like cleaning products, there's a bin, um, it's where I keep my reusable shopping bags, things like that. And then this over here, sort of this corner, is actually my pantry that is accessed from in under here. I'll take you around and you can see in it, it's a mess, but every pantry is right. Okay, so behind the scenes. Under sink storage and pantry, um, there's really nothing interesting to see there at all. My fruit basket is here, that way they can hang 
Um, and yeah, let me take you around the back. Last but not least is my garage storage. So this, um, I kind of rushed through to be honest with you. I always wanted to do pull out drawers and I might in the future, but for the most part, it is just my adventure gears under there, shoes, yoga mat, um, and then car essentials like oil, jumper leads, um, cleaning products. Something else I know I'll get a lot of questions on is my power setup. So my dad is an electrician, which is super helpful, meaning that we could just do this without having to take it to someone qualified because he is. Um, but yeah, so it's only, I guess, a simple build. Um, I do have mains power set up um, a connection outside. So if I go to a caravan park, um, this here is a double pole switch, which is protected for caravan parks. Um, so that'll get connected. Um, I don't yet have a battery charger for it but that's, that's to come. Um, I have a 300 watt inverter and a um, PowerPoint that that's connected to, so that charges my laptop and all of that. My battery isn't really as accessible as I wanted it to be. It's under the bed, sort of in here. Um, again, I was gonna change the bed, desi bed design, but then last minute decided to go ahead with just what I had, which was the original bed that I shortened. Um, and then I have here just um, a bunch of USB outlets, my volt meter and more cigarette lighter plugs. Um, I have a piece of timber here that fits, but I haven't put it in yet because, you know, still building with um, a gap for cords. So that'll look really good once it's in as well. As far as solar panel, I have 230 watt panels on the roof. So I've got 260 watts all up and 125 amp hour deep cycle battery that sits down under my bed here. Um, so far that's everything I need, but we'll see. I've only been in the van for a week now. So that's it for the van tour. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more um, of Vanessa, which is what I've named her. Um, but yeah, so please, 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 like and subscribe this video if you um, are loving this content so I know that I can create more for you. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.